Hi, we're going to continue our series of five minute projects. Today we're going to make a beaded peppermint tree to hang in your window or on your tree. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. The holidays are creeping closer, which means I get going on projects, and I especially love the projects that are quick and easy to make and end up looking beautiful. One of them is our quickie project today, which is a beaded peppermint tree. Here we go. Everything I need to complete this project is contained in this little bag. And if I let the elf inside of me out, I would send this little bag to my sister and make her make her own. But instead, I will make her one and I will show you how we do this. We're going to need some beads and some wire, a scissors, and a pliers. As I dumped out the beads, the main attraction is this peppermint bead. It's absolutely beautiful. It has an iridescent quality that's really pretty. So that is our main star. And we're going to build from that. I'm going to pull off one of these as an example to follow the pattern that I dreamed up. So we have this bead in the center. And I'm going to use two white pearly beads on either side. I'm going to follow it with some bells. Every ornament should have bells. Well, nearly every ornament, I think. And once I get them lined up, then I'm going to string them onto a piece of wire. So let's start going, and I will string it and show you as I go. I need some wire, and I'm going to give myself about the length of this placemat. That's good. I want enough to work with, but not so much that I'm going to waste any. So I've got my piece of wire, and I'm going to start on one end. I have a little red bead. Once you get this lined up, it's very easy. You get it on one side and you duplicate it on the other. I have a red bead here. Well, I get it strung here, I will show you. Let's see what I have in the middle. Another big red bead. These are all glass and plastic beads, but really you have fun with whatever colors you have around you. Teardrop beads. Then it looks like I've got another little bead. That's what we have so far. Now I'm going to add a couple of bells. I'm just going to string these bells on. I've used little bells. I've used big bells. They all look great on this ornament. And they aren't too noisy. They give just a little bit of a ring. Next we have our pearly bead. Then we have our peppermint bead, the star. And now we've come this far. We're just going to repeat back the pattern. Okay, so follow what you did. What's funny about this is all, just about all of these beads came off of a piece of garland that I found. I'm going to bring these two strings together, these two pieces of wire, and that forms the triangle, which is the base of your tree. You see that? and this hangs in the center. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish it up. So now I'm going to take those and attach them together by using a tiny little crimping bead. I'm going to get these two wires to match up at the end, which just makes it easier for getting them through the crimper bead. As the crimping bead slides down the wires, trick to keeping that in place is to let these two wires cross so that there's an X. Let's see if I can show you that better. Pulling them up to each other. And if I can get an X in with the bead, which is the wire starting to curl for whatever reason. Okay, then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to crimp that bead down tight. For a few seconds. And there we go. We have our beads in place. Next comes, this is the top. It's called a bead cap. I'm going to take the bead cap and I'm going to push the ends of the wires into one side. 
what I'm making is the star for the top of the tree. So it's sitting there, and what I'm going to do now is add a bead, this very pretty bead here. Pick any bead you want. This is the bead that's going to shine through, and it comes and sits there. Now I'm going to take the wire and go through the opposite side of the bead cap. My wire wants to curl up on me. And as you'll see, that pulls in place. See, you end up getting like a little star effect. The crimper bead actually slides through this bead cap and makes like a little place for that to sit, which I think makes it even prettier star effect. Now I'm going to take another crimper bead and I'm going to feed it through my wires. Okay. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a room because I'm going to take the two wires and come back in. Gently nudge that wire into the crimping bead. I got it in there. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to crimp that bead. If it's a little bit off at the top, it's okay because we're going to put a Christmas hook there anyway. Let's see how we did. Crimp that bead. Crimp it hard. All right, we got it. And I did a pretty fine job there too. If there's any excess, you could snip it off, but I think that's good. Then all you need is a Christmas hook. And you have it. Isn't that It's so quick and so pretty and so simple? And that's my version of a peppermint tree. And there you have it. Simple, pretty, sparkly, three of my favorite things. There's a song about that. Once you get your bead pattern down, you can swap out the beads and try something different. How about crystal beads and silver bells? There's a song for that too. And keep going until you find a combination you like and there you go. That is beautiful. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear about it. We really would. Until then, see you again.